Well, Instagram has spoken and the Sew Together pattern for November has been chosen. This month, everyone on Instagram was able, not everyone on Instagram, everyone who follows me on Instagram <laughs> um, was able to vote on a kind of like sweater or sweatshirt type of pattern. And they all decided on, by like a landslide, the Style Arc Freya. And the Freya sweater is super, super cool. It's definitely like if you like my sort of basic with a twist kind of sensibility, then you're really going to love this. So this one is like a tunic length sweater. I think it's got like a high low like scoopy hem where it's a little bit longer in the back than the front, which I love because you can wear it with leggings um, and kind of cover your bum. But it's got these really beautiful like angled seams that help. Um, just give some visual interest and also like a little bit of an illusion to like a narrower waist, which is awesome. It's also got uh, long sleeves with these really neat like uh, pleat details. I don't, is it a pleat or a dart? I think they're darted sleeves. So through here, like a big chunk of it, there is a nice little dart. Um, so it's like a statement sleeve without being like humongous shoulders or whatever it is. Then the neckline is more of like a drapey cowl situation. Um, or if your fabric is thicker, it's going to kind of sit up a little bit more like a um, kind of like just a gathered slouchy funnel neck, if you want to think of it that way. Um, so the pattern is super, super cool. Um, very, very chic, perfect for fall as we go into winter. Um, you can style it and wear it a million different ways, I feel like, um, with jeans, kind of like do a half tuck type of thing. Like I said, over leggings. It's a great layering piece um, as we go into the cooler months. Um, so I am going to talk to you guys now about fabric choice because as always I feel like the two things that uh produce a garment that is successful or not are fabric choice and fit so we're gonna talk about fabric choice first um, I have a couple from my stash as you know I'm trying to use stash fabric for all of the sew together projects um and this month is no different so in my opinion when you have kind of a longer tunic with that curved hem that you plan on wearing with like tighter bottoms, you need to play with the juxtaposition of silhouette with that. So if you're going to have fitted bottoms, your top can be a little bit more structured and a little bit more set away from the body. You're not going to read that as one giant, you know, body. You're going to read it as two separate pieces where your legs are smaller in this garment that is kind of fitted up top but then kind of you know billows out toward the bottom and stands away from the body plus <laughs> plus the fact that you have the darted sleeve so you want something a little bit substantial there to like really make that element shine and because you have this sort of like drapey neck um you really want to find a fabric that is a really good balance between um drapey and structured and I know you're thinking well that sounds like a unicorn fabric like how am I ever going to find that and I think that what you have to keep in mind whenever you're shopping especially if you're shopping online is the weave of the fabric and what the fabric is made of so for example I pulled out this cable knit that I have so cable knits are usually made from like a cotton sometimes wool, um, and they are woven together in this way to create this like cable knit. So obviously they are kind of more tightly woven and that is going to create a more structured silhouette. Um, this one happens to also be um, two-sided and the other side is this like sort of thinner cotton. So think of it as kind of like an inner lining for your um, top. So in my opinion, this one would be really good because it has the structure that you need for the like bottom half of the garment to kind of stand away from the body a little bit. But it also has a little bit of drape where you can get like a good like slouchy um, funnel neck and it's not going to be just like <laughs> stuck up here. I think if you were to use what would be a bad example if you were to use like a thicker ponty knit or like a scuba knit think about a scuba knit okay that slouchy funnel neck or cowl neck or however they're wording it 
in something that has no drape whatsoever, it's just going to stand up straight. And when it does that, your chin is going to be the only thing holding it down. And it's going to be like lifting your hair up, riding up your back, uh, the back of your neck, and it's going to be really uncomfortable. So you need to have something that does slouch down a little bit. And you can kind of see how this one folds in on itself. I have not made this, so I don't know for sure about the construction of that neck. You might be able to shorten it so that it's not so much. Um, but we'd have to see what those pattern pieces look like before we could do that. Your other option is if you are using something like a gray to get a similar gray and use a separate uh, fabric for the neckline. The other option I have is boucle knit. And I'm sure I got this to make a jacket. Um, but now I'm thinking that it would make the perfect Freya tunic. Am I right? And if I have enough left over, how cute would it be to have a matching set with like a cute little mini skirt to wear with it? Would that be cute? I think so because it's like high low and I could tuck in the front and have an elastic waist. I think it would be really cute and comfortable. So this is Boucle Knit. Boucle Knit is a looser weave, but it is made from fibers that are a little bit thicker and a little bit heavier. Um, so the balance there is, it's still balanced just the opposite way of the cable knit. So if you can imagine this, and if you're shopping in a store, don't hesitate to do this in the store. You can do this, right? <laughs> I mean, you might look a little bit weird, but listen, you got to get it right, right? Um, so obviously the neckline is only going to be so much fabric, but you can see how it folds in on itself still really nicely while still having a little bit of structure to the rest of the garment. So it's not like clingy tight around your bottom half so that it still kind of does flow away from the body just a little bit around that hem. That's really what you're looking for. So 99.99% sure this is what I'm going to be using for mine. I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be nice and cozy and comfortable. The backside is super soft and um, and yeah, that's what I'll be using. So talk about fit a little bit. Um, the fit of this is going to be pretty easy for you guys to get a good fit on it because it is so roomy. I, um, I'm pretty sure that looking at the pictures, the bodice does not, the bust line does not seem super fitted at all. They have an example of one woman wearing it. Now she is in a very drapey fabric, almost like a borderline tissue knit. It's definitely a thin sweater knit. So when you look at hers online, you can see that hers is a little bit tighter. Um, I think that if you were to not have as drapey of a garment, it or not as drapey of a fabric, it wouldn't look so close fitting because it's not able to hug all of those curves. All that to say, the arm is really uh, loose, the waist is really loose, the hips are really loose, and so I think you're going to have a really easy time fitting this, um, especially if you have my fast fit uh, system, the workbook that I developed to help to help you figure out which size to cut given um, the pattern ease, like the wearing ease and the design ease the designer has included in the pattern as well. If you have that, you're going to be off to the races. You're going to be able to do the math, figure out the solution and get your size right away. If you don't have that, it's available on my website. I have a link in the description box where you can go check it out. I use it on every single pattern. I developed it from using it <laughs> and then just put it in a, put it together in a way where I thought other people would be able to use it too. Um, so go get that. Um, put all the information in and then you'll be able to get a size for your Freya that is super, super close to what you will need to make it. The only thing I'm going to caution you on is to double check the length of the sleeve and double check the length of the bodice. It is a long tunic, so it is going to look long, but you need to make sure that the proportion of the front is correct. That higher scoop in the front needs to hit just barely above or right at your crotch line. Okay, so just because you are long waisted, short waisted, whatever situation you've got going on lengthwise, um, just make sure that is where the pattern hits you and then it can gradually um, go down around your bum from there. But if it's too short, 
the proportions are going to be off. If it's too long, that's going to be even worse. <laughs> so you just want to make sure that it's not too long for you. Um, then once you find your size, okay, so Style Arc is a little bit funky monkey when it comes to the sizing. If you go to stylearc.com and you try and buy this sweater, you can only buy it in one size. Well, you can buy it in whatever size you want, but you only get one size with your purchase. If you go to the link in my description box, you will be able to choose from three. You'll have, you'll be able to purchase a pattern with three sizes in it. So you're never going to get like the full range of sizes that they have. Not in this pattern. They do have some where you have all of them. This particular one, um, you can only do up to three and getting those, uh, patterns that have the three options. You can only do that on Etsy. Another point about this pattern in particular from Style Arc is it does not have an AO version. So you can either tape this together. I want to say they said it had a, like somewhere around 30 pages. I don't know if that, those of you that like doing that, I don't know if that's a lot to you or not. To me, that seems like, oh Lord, no, thank you. But uh, if you don't like taping together, you can still send this pattern off to Sublime Graphics. Sublime Graphics has this proprietary software where they can digitally tape all those pages together. So even though you don't have an AO version where it's all on a large format sheet of paper, they can manipulate it, um, get it all together, formatted correctly at the right scale, all of that kind of stuff, and print it on one sheet of paper, however many sheets it takes for this one pattern. It does not cost any extra to do that. Um, you don't have to even really do anything. You just upload the file um, with all the individual sheets and they will just know what to do. I don't know, it's like magic. <laughs> um, so yeah, get your pattern from them so that you don't have to worry about any taping at all. Um, and then from them also you can get, you can choose between tissue paper, uh, tracing paper, which is kind of like in the middle and then, um, like regular coffee paper. Anytime I'm using a fabric that's a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier weight, I always err on the side of a little bit heavier paper. Um, so that it's kind of like matchy matchy. You know what I mean? Like the tissue on a heavyweight fabric, sometimes the tissue doesn't behave right, but if the paper has a little bit more weight to it, they'll all kind of like work together better. Does that make sense? Um, okay, so I think that's everything I possibly have to say about the Style Art Freya. I absolutely cannot wait to see your versions. I think this one is going to be so cute on so many different types of shapes and sizes and styles. And, and we're going to see a lot of really, really cute versions. So I am excited. Leave your questions about Sew Together, Style Art, the Style Art Freya, the Fast Fit Workbook, Sublime Graphics. <laughs> Leave your questions about anything that I mentioned in the comments section. I'm happy to answer them. I read all the comments. It's like one of my favorite things. Um, so yeah, I can get all your questions answered and you can get off to the races making Freya for November and tell me that that's not gonna be the perfect thing to wear to Thanksgiving here in America where you can eat a lot <laughs> and get really bloated and the Freya will never show. The Freya will hide it all for you. So, um, so yeah, so that's going to do it for me today. I have linked to last month's Sew Together pattern. I haven't made it yet. I know I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm getting there. Um, but I've linked to the same type of video for that pattern. If you want to go back and make opt or learn about October's pick and yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.